Okay, welcome to video number 12. I'm going to try to finish up my uh, roughing worksheet in this. In the last video, I just finished getting the uh, Omnivent uh, figured. We had uh, used this formula Roundup linear feet of ridge, ridge vent divided by 30, and that got us three rolls of uh, Omni low profile. Okay, I am going to uh, deal with uh, a couple of th the labor side of things. That pretty well takes care of the material side. I will unfreeze the panes a little bit later and uh, show you what else I have on that side. Okay, most of the roofing that I do is not new construction. It's uh, re-roofs, so I have tear-off with every job. I'm going to... Uh, add a row, go back to my home page, or add a column, I'm sorry. Add a column. I don't need the column to be that wide. Come back in. Um, now these right now are figured. The formula for these is on crew rate. I'm going to change the for. I'm going to leave crew rate the same for my estimated billing, but from here on down I'm going to put a dollar amount in this column H, and here I'm going to have my uh, number of squares. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to change the formula. Um, we'll just put, uh, just for purposes of demonstration, 10 squares and $10. Okay. Um, equals G32 times H32, enter. I'm going to take that formula and fill all the way down. Obviously I've got a lot of cells here I'm never going to use, but I'm going to press enter. Okay. And these are going to be dollar amounts. So I'm going to put those as a dollar figure. I'm going to scroll back to the top. I'm going to take uh, as my baseline a 412 pitch, one layer of tear off. I'm going to use $75 as my baseline price. And for shingling, I'm going to do the same thing, $75. Okay. These I'm going to delete. That was just for setting up a formula to explain it, to show you how it was happening. Okay, I'm going to put equals our total squares. Enter. My shingling is going to be equals total squares. Enter. No, I don't want that there. I want both of these to be down here. That probably should not be bold. Now notice I've got, now that I've shifted and changed these down, I've got a reference problem. I've got a problem with my formula. This, uh, the total amount is showing up in the wrong cell. The way to correct that is just go back up here It's all corrected. Okay, so we just went back and you went to where I originally started the formula or wherever the formula is correct, and I just used fill to correct things. Okay, now I did a couple of things here at the top. I have, I'm going to assign uh, $100, it can be whatever you want. I'm going to assign $100 to each one of these problem areas. And these are the thing these are the questions I asked myself earlier. You can you don't have to do the questions up here. You can do them down here. I just like to for myself, I like to work in this area to figure most of the rough and then come down to the estimate later and look things over. 
uh, 10 shingle areas equals four of them. Enter satellite dish. I can probably just use fill now. Let me see what happens. because everything here is in the same order it is here. I can, uh, now if I go to my satellite dish and uh, press two, oh no, two skylights, then you'll be able to see that skylights now, I've got two of them and it's $200. Okay, I am going to uh, unfreeze panes to make it a little easier to move around. Now, here's the, the full sheet. Here's where I work with the questions. And I just work up, I do these questions so that I don't forget things that, oh boy, that, that bay window cost us a lot more time and effort than, than, I, plan, than I forgot all about it. Um, I've also got difficult areas and then repl replace rotten fascia, things like that. These are my less commonly used materials. These are things that sometimes you run into using, sometimes not. When I was off camera, I put uh, a highlight, a yellow highlight on a few things that you need to pay attention to. Um, we'll just put some, uh, go back to home. We'll put some all, all borders on this area so that I know that um, if I've got a tin shingles, a lot of times, you know, like you're not going to use a hundred to do a small dormer, but you might, but here's kind of a, with the yellow, I know this is something I need to pay attention to. Bathroom vents, eight inch kitchen vents, things like that. If it's a uh, tear off and resheet, then I'm going to need to put some OSB down and I'm going to need sheeting staples. Um, may or may not use blackjack or may or may not use urethane caulk but by putting those yellow cells in there it draws my attention to it. Now when I was off camera I also did a couple other things. Um, I'm going to cut and paste my tear off or my uh, yeah my tear off calculator. I'm going to slip that in right here. Uh, here. Okay, so this for this is what I use to uh, figure waste and tear off. One layer. This is yellow means you put you fill that. There's 250 pounds a square. Here's the formula. It's uh, B26 times C26, the weight, the number of layers times the weight times D24. D24 is the number of squares. And uh, then I used Roundup. I went D26 divided by 2,000 pounds, and I come up with four tons of debris. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to insert a, uh, a row. Uh, maybe the, no, that's not where I want it. My back button is your friend. I'm going to insert a row here. That's going to be uh, landfill fees. And this is going to equal my tons times $50. Enter. Probably shouldn't put that down as a uh, should probably should be some different color, but yeah, we'll just put a light blue. Now I'm going to insert another function that I use quite a bit, and that's my roof pitch calculator. And I highlight that area. I copy. I'm not going to um, not going to build this online, but I'm just going to show you how it works. A lot of times you, I, sometimes I measure roofs off the ground or I don't go on the roof. 90% of the time I go on the roof and I measure up. But sometimes I work off a drawing, sometimes I work off an internet, uh, just look it up online. 
Uh, sometimes I walk the job on site and I don't have a ladder. Then my horizontal run is, let me see here. I'll go back and show you. That's the distance from here on the ground to here. Your horizontal run. That's what I call it. And uh, that's a, it's a 412 pitch on this roof, on the one I just pointed out. We already know it's a 14 foot. And so punch that in. I know that my rake is 15 foot and my hips are 20 foot. <coughs> and this formula here is uh, square root of power. I can't read this real well. I can tell you where I got this formula. Well, let me see here. This is a, uh, I got this formula from um, Journal of Light Construction, estimated with a spreadsheet. This is done by Bill Lacey back in uh, October of 2006. Um, it's good reading. I would recommend you get it, uh, or get it and read it, but here's where he put together that formula. I'm not smart enough to do that. Now I'm going to have to adjust my thing, my screencast. Okay, so if I forgot to measure a hip or I forgot to measure a valley or I don't e care to because I know I can figure it here at home, I like to use this rough calculator. Okay, okay, let me see. Now we've got an estimate here. We've got these totals. I am going to t go to my estimate letter. I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to create a copy, and that copy is going to be right after my rough, my rough calculator. Answer some of these questions. Basically, they relate to the cover sheet. And okay, this is an uh, estimate letter. I double clicked on that. Now I can say uh, estimate letter rough. Oh, that appeared before. Okay. I want that in a different spot, so I go back and I move that. I want it after my roofing, before my what the tab called basic. Okay, my labor. I'm going to go back and cheat again. I took the opportunity. Or this is basically what my uh, estimate or bid letter looks like. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to punch that in. Now my totals, my total labor is going to be equals, go back to my roof sheet, my labor number, enter my materials, which is in the wrong spot. I'm going to uh, clear that. Materials equals back to my roof here enter now I might want to uh, move that up a little bit landfill these equals go back to my roof worksheet enter I've got a problem here with the way this all delete. Okay. Now I'm going to going to come up here and uh, do print preview, see what it looks like. You can see i got to do some dressing up on that. And now I know um, the, the outlines of my, estimate, of my estimate letter or my bid letter. I have no time left. <laughs>